If you are currently a student in college, I wanna talk about the apps that you need to have on your phone right now to help you out with your homework, be more productive, and just get you done with your studying. Now, I am not paid to say any of these apps, and this is kind of just coming in from personal experience and experience of my peers and the friends that I know. And I've curated a bunch of apps and I've kind of compiled them into one that I think would be the most helpful for you as a college student. So without further ado, I'm just gonna jump right in. The first app is gonna be Todoist. And what Todoist is, is essentially a to-do list app, but it's very, very versatile. And there's a bunch of like little subtasks you can add. And it's very, very friendly on the mobile as well as on a desktop version of this app. Now I know a lot of peers who have used Todoist themselves and I like how you're able to color coordinate. I like how you're able to add little sections. For example, if you want to do like a study for math exam, right? You could break it down to study for chapter one, study for chapter two, study for chapter three, and just kind of check them off as you go and opposed to everything all at once together. You could have different lists for school, different lists for errands, different lists for family, friends, whatever it may be. You could actually separate them out here in the app Todoist. Now, number two is going to be an app that I personally use myself, and it's called Notion. Notion is super versatile in what you can do with it, especially because there's going to be a lot of templates that people make. Um, you could use it for studying, you could use it for exams, you can use it for note taking, productivity, whatever it may be. For me personally, I use Notion as my video planner. So I plan my videos on Notion, I plan all my side businesses on Notion. And Notion is such a great way to keep everything organized. You can make little blocks that has, you know, like a toggle. You can make little blocks that has a calendar, a little database, tables, everything into one page. And the best part is you can also add your friends to a Notion worksheet and work on stuff together, right? If you have a business partner, if you have a classmate, a group mate, whatever it may be, you could definitely add them in Notion to work on stuff together. I love the cross compatibility for Notion when you can use it on your phone and you can also use it on your desktop as a browser or a standalone app on Mac or Windows. Now, app number three is gonna be Forest or Flora. It depends on what OS version you're using. If you are using an iPhone, then Flora is a free alternative to Forest. If you're using an Android, I don't know why, they make Forest free in the Google Play Store. Essentially what it is, it's a Pomodoro tracker and timer. Now the good thing about this app is if you get your studying done within you know your set amount of time, they'll actually plan like a little garden for you in the app. And even better, you can also set little consequences or you could even like donate to actual organizations that plant a tree for you, like a real life tree. So it's like, hey, you know, if you're studying and you break your discipline and you go on your phone, the consequence is like a tree gets planted, right? Which isn't really a consequence, it's good for the earth, but also you could grow your little virtual garden there with a friend or something. So if you wanna to study together, it's always a good app to check on everybody's progress on, hey, like you actually studied and you, you know, you grew your garden or something, right? It's something really, really minor, but it's something definitely super cool to keep in mind. Number four, I'm gonna say it again, as I've said this in my previous video, but photo math is a great, great tool for solving math equations by just taking a photo of it. You could literally just put your phone over a math problem and it'll literally solve it within seconds. It really saves a bunch of time in terms of like doing manual work and math calculations. So if you really wanna speed up your homework process, if you really wanna speed up your studying process, you could use this photo math app to take, you know, photos of math equations and have it solve it for you. And it really saves you a lot of time too. Now app number five is gonna be TurboScan. TurboScan is a great scanner alternative with your phone. So you're able to put your phone over a document and kind of scan it. And there's different features within the app to you know edit the file and kind of make it the way you want to look like if the lighting is bad you could fix it on the app if the lighting is good you know you could kind of customize it and crop the image crop the corners whatsoever and then you could actually make it into a pdf file which then you could email to yourself or you could email to others or just save it on the drive right absolutely i've never ran into any issues with it so if you want a good scanning app you should use turbo scan now the next app i have in mind is a little bit weird but bear with me it's called Parsec. What Parsec is, is essentially a free remote desktop tool where you can control your devices from other locations. For me, I have different tech devices. I have my phone, I have an iPad, I have a computer, and I have a laptop as well. I don't know why I have a lot. I juggle with different things. And there's a lot of files to keep in sync within all those devices. Now, what's great about Parsec is that I have all my files, like for example, my videos, right? When I'm recording this video, I'm gonna save it to my computer here at home. But with Parsec, I'm actually able to take my work on the go. So if I wanna work at a cafe, if I wanna work at a friend's house or a public place, I can use my laptop. And as long as I have a good internet connection, I'm actually able to remote into my computer at home with low latency, good graphics, good volume, and just everything works. It just feels like I'm using my computer back at home when I'm using Parsec. It was kind of designed for gaming, but you definitely could use it as a remote desktop tool that has low latency, uh, and you're able to connect to it anywhere as well. And it's also on the phone too. I was able to remote into my computer earlier 
through my phone. So can confirm it works on the phone and it's again, absolutely free. So next up I have in mind is going to be Quizlet. Now I know this is a standard app to have, but I really love the functionality of Quizlet and how you can make little flashcards or use other people's flashcard sheets online that they've made. Quizlet definitely has a lot of my previous like college homework assignments and just little flashcards for them that kind of helped me out a lot in terms of getting homework done in a fast manner. But again, the best part about it is that you're able to make your own flashcard sets. You're able to make little exams with it. You're able to study with it and just have different things within the app itself. There's little games and features within the app that kind of helps you quiz yourself in terms of like studying terms and studying vocabulary, whatever it may be that requires flashcards. I really love Quizlet and I loved it when I was a college student. So I definitely recommend using Quizlet as one of your apps. And last but not least, the app that I use a lot, even to this day, is the Google Drive app. If you store your documents on a Google Drive, this app is going to be extremely useful. You could use it as a PDF viewer. You could use it as like a Word document viewer on the go or a Google Docs document viewer on the go. And on top of the Google Drive app, I just want to add on that you could download the individual apps like Google Docs app, Google Sheets app, Google Slides app, and just many of the other Google sub apps within Google Drive itself to help you, you know, make that last minute edit right before you present on a Google Slides or make that last minute edit before you turn in your essay. And it really helps you when you're on the go because I've definitely finished my essays before, like on the way to school in the car with my Google Docs phone. I've, you know, edited presentations before I presented, like literally before I headed up in front of the class to present, I was actually able to make Google Slides changes on my desk, like, you know, at, at my school on my desk with my phone. So it comes in clutch in different situations that you expect the least. And with that being said, that kind of wraps up all the apps that I have for you guys today that are, you know, completely free and they should be cross platform on iOS, Android, and some of them even on Windows or Mac. And I will see you guys all in the next video.